nicely done. And now, by the power vested to me by the state of Nevada, I happily pronounce you husband and wife in this program. Welcome to another episode of Las Vegas and Beyond, and welcome back, Beyonders. Today is a special episode. It's a celebration episode, and we are going to get married. Not me, but think about it. If we've been cooped up at home with our spouse or significant other for over the last 12 to 14 months, and you plan on coming to Las Vegas, then what better way to do that and celebrate by getting married or renewing your vows? So in this episode, we're going to go visit two of the most iconic, vintage, and probably the oldest chapels here in Las Vegas. Before we get started though, let's go over some of the details you'll need to know if you do plan to get married. Now, you do need to get a marriage license and it's pretty easy here. I mean, the Marriage Bureau is located in downtown, real close to Fremont Street. They're open from 8 a.m. to midnight. Now, all you need to do is bring a proof of ID, like a driver's license, uh, if you're a U.S. citizen. If not, you need your passport. You need to be 18. And get this one, you can't marry your next of kin any nearer than your second cousin. <laughs> if you're under 18, you can get married, but you need to consent. Anyway, I'll put the links below uh, in the description for the Marriage Bureau to help speed up the process. You can actually fill out your application online and have it ready waiting for you when you get there. Now, the marriage license only costs $77 and it's valid for one full year. There is no waiting period and you don't need to take a blood test. Now the marriage license is just that. It's only if you're getting married. Now if you are married and you just want to renew your vows, then these places also offer those services. So before we get started, be sure to give this video a like and uh, don't forget to click on that subscribe button down below. And if you're wondering about this logo, I always feel weird going into a church just wearing a t-shirt or a polo. It, it just doesn't feel right. So I don't know about you, but yeah, and this is the only clean shirt I had. So let's get started with today's video. churches and chapels here in Las Vegas is the iconic Little Church of the West. Now they don't need any kind of gimmick. This place has been around since 1942. So in 2022, they'll be celebrating 80 years. And if that entrance looks familiar, that's because in Viva Las Vegas, Elvis Presley and Anne Margaret came out of those doors when the bells were ringing. The Little Church of the West was actually built in 1942 and was part of the Last Frontier Hotel and Casino which now was replaced by Fashion Show Mall. In 1996, the Little Church of the West moved to its new location right here on South Las Vegas Boulevard, just north of the Las Vegas sign and just south of Mandalay Bay. In fact, the Pinball Hall of Fame is in the next parking lot. Let's go inside and meet our host, who will give us a tour of the Little Church of the West. Well, Dan, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to give us a tour and talk about the Little Church of the West. Thanks for stopping by. Always a pleasure. So please share with us some of the history of the church. Now it's the uh, oldest wedding chapel in Las Vegas, and it's actually the oldest structure on the Strip as well. So built in 1942, chapel's made of uh, California redwood, and uh, it's styled after an old mining town church. And the fixtures in here, you talked about the lanterns? The lanterns uh, were taken off of an old train uh, back from the 20s, uh, so they're completely original. Uh, we have a stained glass window feature, which is very popular, it looks great in photos. And then we have a, a bell in our bell tower, which is tradition here, here that we ring that bell after every ceremony. 
And that bell was taken from a church uh, in St. Thomas, Nevada, which is the town at the bottom of Lake Mead. There's a few little uh, surprises around each corner here. And I noticed the organ behind you, that looks pretty old. Yeah, it doesn't work anymore, but uh, yeah, that's original. Uh, again, looks great in the photo, so uh, you know, we try and keep everything uh, as original as possible here. We added some blinds to the windows uh, a few years back just to help the photographers. Uh, with the lighting, but uh, other than that, everything else is completely original. The pews are original. Every few years, we've got to change this carpet out down the aisle, but the main features are all original. So what is your most popular package right now? We have packages from $200 up to $2,500, and um, we, we, we sell those across the board. There's no real one popular. Um, Vegas is obviously known for the kind of cheap and quick ceremony and obviously we do a lot of that. We're also seeing a, a huge number of people that had you know huge weddings planned elsewhere in California, Arizona, neighboring states which was cancelled you know that they spent 50,000, 100,000 on so they're more than happy to come and you know book our all-inclusive bigger packages because it's still a fraction of uh, what they originally booked. So what is your most extravagant package? I mean what does it entail or what does it include? Our largest package is $2,500. Um, it's called the High Roller. This is Las Vegas, so we like to keep with these kind of names. Uh, and basically, it's, it's an all-inclusive package. So everything from flowers, uh, limousines, uh, you get a limousine for the bride and the groom, so they arrive separately. Uh, it, it's a great way to keep them separate, and we can do a first look photo. Um, includes every single photo that's taken, includes the video of the ceremony. So it's truly an all-inclusive, uh, one price and you're done. And, uh, you know, for that reason, it's very popular. I noticed you offer an Elvis package. What is that? We do, uh, you know, it's, it's a very Vegas, uh, very Vegas thing. But this chapel is kind of unique in the sense that uh, Elvis actually filmed one of his movies in here, so we, when you walk down the aisle with our Elvis impersonator, you're, you're truly wo walking in the footsteps of Elvis, so it's very genuine. What about capacity restrictions? What are they? The chapel seat's about 60, and to be honest, it's not really been a, a, big, a big problem, um, just because people haven't been bringing large groups in anyway. We also have a second garden venue, which I'm sure you got some footage of, and that seats about 150. So for slightly larger groups, our garden is, a, is, a, is an option as well. Okay, what about celebrities? Are you allowed to name drop? Uh, we can name drop a few. Um, nowadays, uh, celebrities are a little more uh, aware of their brands, so they kind of aren't request to be, you know, keep it on the quiet if they're, unless they're bringing People Magazine with them. Um, but over the years, uh, it's been a favorite for celebrities. Big names include uh, Angelina Jolene was married here to Billy Bob Thornton. Uh, John Daly, the golfer, was married here. Uh, Lars Ulrich from Metallica back in the 80s. Noel Gallagher from the band Oasis was married here. The list goes on and on. Dudley Moore, Shirley Bassey, all married here. So, wow. you know, we, we, see, we see famous uh, Celebrities, sportsmen, you know, every few months someone, someone will pop in. Sometimes it's planned, sometimes they just show up, um, but always nice to see them. Which brings me to my next question. How far in advance do I need to make a reservation? Because you said some people just drop by. Um, we're, we're unique, uh, just having the, the one chapel. So we have the garden as well, but we still stick to a very strict uh, one ceremony at a time. You know, other chapels um, will have multiple venues and there's multiple weddings happening at the same time. Whenever I'm asked how many weddings we do, we always reply one at a time. Um, we really want the brides to feel special. And speaking of special, some of the packages include use of the bridal suite. So let's go take a look inside and see what's in here. It's very relaxing. There's even Kleenex for the bride and a vanity. A full length mirror. Plenty of places to sit and <laughs> a light switch. And uh, so we recommend booking up as soon as you got a date give us a call and uh, we'll let you know the availability. Um, that being said, 
you know, we do have people are, are walk in on the day. It just means you might have to wait a little while. Um, and weekends, you know, that's more and more difficult now. Um, but uh, always try and make a reservation. Last question is, how do people get a hold of you? I know you do have a website. Do you also have social media? And I'll be sure to put links down below in the description. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, everything, Facebook, Instagram. Uh, littlechurchofthewest.com is the website. Little Church of the West uh, for Instagram, Facebook, easy to find. And you also take reservations online, is that correct? You can book reservations online. Uh, the website's in nine different languages. We have uh, people from about 65, 67 different countries every year come here from all around the world. Well, Dan, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to uh, do this tour and also give us some information about Little Church of the West. Thanks okay. for stopping by. So be sure to ask for Dan, he's super friendly. Besides, he's got an awesome accent, so make sure you ask for him. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed that quick tour and the information that Dan provided. So Dan, thank you very much. This place is great. Again, it is vintage and iconic Las Vegas. So now let's go head on to our next destination. This chapel is an iconic vintage Vegas chapel. This is a little white wedding chapel, and it's located about a mile north of the Strat and two miles south of Fremont Street. And we also have the opportunity of meeting Ms. Charlotte Richards. She is the owner and CEO of a little white wedding chapel. We're going to get married at the little white chapel in the sky. She's got a great story, so I do want you to hear about it. Let's go inside and meet Ms. Charlotte. Today, I have the pleasure of meeting the wedding queen of the universe, <laughs> Ms. Charlotte Richards. So thank you for having me today. It's an honor. You have the title of wedding queen of the universe, and you've been doing this for over 60 years now. Is that correct? That's correct. What got you started? Well, it, it must have been love. Anyway, I'm, I'm just so thankful that I had a way to get started because I was all by myself with little children and didn't know what to do because my so-called husband disappeared and I'm standing at the streets of Las Vegas wondering what to do but you know what God came in the picture and he turned my life around along with a lot of other people this is my life this is my love I love every person that comes in the door, and when I get to marry them, it's even better. How many weddings have you officiated? In my lifetime? In your lifetime since you've been here. I would have to guess probably close to a million. Most I've ever done is uh, uh, 128 weddings in one 24-hour period. Everybody wanted to get married on seven 707, 7707. That day, there was 575 people that was done in this chapel. And of course, we did have different areas on the outside, arches right. and people that liked to uh, go outside to get married. And it, was, it was a wonderful day. Any celebrities that you... <laughs> celebrities, yes. Do you want to name drop a few? Oh, too many to say. Okay. I could just start with Frank Sinatra and uh, Mia Farrow and Joan Collins. And it's just, you, you name it, it's almost there. Bruce Willis and Demi Moore. Wow. I really loved doing their wedding. You told me this wasn't your first chapel. No, it wasn't. And then you found this one. Yeah. And it this was is... a miracle. It, this elderly couple was living right here. And they, they were in their late 80s. And they said they just couldn't get any further. And they put an ad in the paper. Uh, this is going back 62 years ago. Wow. And uh, the, the ad was, uh, the one with the highest bidder, it's the chapel. And I didn't have any money, but I bid <laughs> what I bid. And I got it. I cried, I, I laughed, I prayed. I. I'll never be be the same. You've made changes. Oh, um, yes. It, the floors are beautiful. Marble. The chandeliers are gorgeous. I said, I, I want my brides and grooms walk on marble floors. 
And I want them to look at double rings because when they get married, the, their rings go together. This is for eternity. A lot of people love to come inside of the chapel because of the movie stars that have been married standing right here where I sit. Michael Jordan, I've got his picture up. He got married right here. But when I opened that drive up. I was just gonna ask you, so oh, no. Charlotte, tell me about the drive up. What, what inspired you to open it, first of all? Because there was nothing out there but dirt and, you know, just a little parts where you could park. And I said, I feel so sorry for these people that can't get in and out of their cars, you know, handicapped, for example, or people with children, or, you know, get out of your car and walk in that dirt, go around to get to the front of the chapel. And I said to my son, honey, would you do me a favor and make me a window right out here out on the side of the building? And he said, sure, Bob, I'll do that. How come you want one there? I said, because I want to put a drive up so people can drive up and get married in their car. Oh, he says, Mother, I'm not going to do that. I said, please do it for me. And he did. And he never realized what a miracle it was because it's quicker, it's easier. And if they fade, you know, they can find it in the car. <laughs> <laughs> what, I read 91, 90, 1991, 92? I think it's, yeah, it's. it's I, I, I haven't gone I mean, that's almost 40 years that you can do. You were the first, then, it sounds yeah. like, to yes. do that. Uh -huh. Do you guys want to say your name for YouTube? Uh, Deontay. Deontay? And Dijonette. Well, you two are very beautiful couples. Thank you. <laughs> and I heard that you guys are here from California, just coming to tie the knot? Yes. yes sir. Nicely done. And now, at the hour best you would be by the state of Nevada, I happily pronounce you husband and white, and kiss the Congratulations, that's wonderful. Thank you. Well, thank you so much. I had my son build that gazebo out there, and that's beautiful, it's fresh air, it's, the music can be beautiful, and uh, children can be in there. And, how many people does that see? Um, do you know the About capacity? 20, 25 at oh. the most, yeah. And then this chapel? This chapel's about 25. Very intimate, but it's nice. It, it is. is. Now, I got an Elvis Presley Cadillac. I only use one for the people to get married in the limousine. Oh, so they can use that to get married in? Yes. They, oh, okay. They sit there, the bride and the groom, and they sit in the back and the minister plays uh, some music for them. They sit there and do the ceremony. I have a, had a couple the other day. They've been together for 47 years, and they said, we want to renew our vows. They sat inside of that limousine, uh, not li limousine, the uh, uh, back seat of the uh, Cadillac, renewed their vows. It was just like crying. Oh. And then we have also an Elvis impersonator. He sings it to it while they're sitting in the car. So you have a chapel of the crystals here, or a crystal no, chapel? A chapel of l'amour. Chapel of l'amour. That means chapel of love. Okay. If this altar looks familiar to you, that's because this is where Sophie Turner and Joe Jonas got married. And if you look over my shoulder, these chandeliers she purchased from when the Sahara was auctioning off everything. The crystal chapel is up there. That's where a lot of movie stars get married. Okay. The Kardashians I married up oh, there, oh. and it was a lot of fun. Now, as far as booking, people could walk in. Okay, you do walk in. Walk in because there's Great. always a, a, somebody here to uh, do a wedding during the time that the chapel is open. I used to be open 24 hours a day. However, the marriage license bureau said they open up at eight o'clock and they close at midnight. But the 24/7 that sounds wild. <laughs> Well, didn't Britney Spears get married? Oh, she was a sweetheart. Britney was standing right here, bless her heart. Oh, gosh. She was such a darling. Sir. I okay. just love her. And uh, I would do her wedding all over again if she ever asked me to. But I think I'll make it about an hour long. <laughs> <laughs> make no, sure you know invite I me. Do that. <laughs> Ms. Sure. Charlotte, thank you so much for taking the time out of your hectic day. Um, no, it, I, have, I never have a hectic day. I have a heartful way today. Uh, and tomorrow and ever. 
Well, that will do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed those two iconic vintage Vegas chapels. I did reach out to three others. Uh, one got back to me and the other ones never heard back from. And this was about two weeks ago. So yes, I do try to plan some of my videos. But anyway, if you like it and you do plan to come to Vegas, why not get married or renew your vows? So leave me a comment down below if that might be on your list to do. Otherwise, do me a favor, give this video a like. Don't forget to click on that subscribe button down below and ring the bell icon. That way you'll be notified when I upload new content. So thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Am I done? Am I done? Yes, it's super windy and whatever little hair I do have left, it is a bad hair day.